The Makati South Area, close to Malam Junction, is one of the areas that experiences massive flooding when it rains. During the raining season last year, some homes within the Makati South Enclave experienced devastating flooding. Occupants of some of the houses within the enclave were forced to vacate at their homes. According to some residents who spoke to City News, the construction of adequate drains within the enclave is the solution to the problem. The residents, with support from the Wajagbawe Municipal Assembly, have taken some remedial steps by dredging storm drains within the enclave to reduce the impact when the rain begins. Here are some residents speaking to City News about the impact of last year's rain and why they want adequate storm drains constructed. Some years back, everybody can attest to it that uh, Malam Junction, there has been this flooding issue uh, till or until when the government intervened and then they, they did something about it, which is the main road. The main flooding was at the main road. That pool had been solved and then here, the, road, uh, the water couldn't pass here well. So we will still appeal to the government. It's, it's doing well, but we should try as much as possible to come and do the gutter for us. If we are able to, you know, dig the gutter before the rain, I don't think we will have any problem when the rain comes. We have been going through so many challenges, so many flood issues has also taken so many people out of the area, you know, and it looks like any time we try for them to even get involved in helping to maybe work on the drainage. It has caused so many problems. It does not just flood in the area, it enters into their home, you know, and some, some of them, I think, even me, my house, I think it's the worst issues for me. Even when the rain stopped, it was still in there because there were no much drainage that was connecting into the mainstream. Anytime it's about to rain, all you have to do is to start packing your things. Kwanwa umudale tin swin yina befahano. Papa, me den uraha, a bay wire ho. Masha ties in yinaw, ties in yin etu. Mintia kunyaso. Me nam paso. Me nam matresses so. School school for the ebin makoto tin ebi. I'm the toe on the mada. In swim rana ma bobo. I'm the ato. My boss says so ho. The Wajagbawe Municipal Assembly says although the construction of big storm drain is beyond their capabilities, they will channel the request to the appropriate quarters for redress. If, if you look at the government's plan when it comes to the Gamma and then the Gas Lake, some uh, big uh, uh, rivers are going to have some, uh, what do you call it, uh, big drains constructed on them. Those drains that you are mentioning are, is beyond the Assembly's uh, financial capacity. So we've sent those proposals to the, uh, uh, the appropriate ministry to come in, which I believe uh, yesterday the Minister for Works and Housing visited some areas, and I believe in no time those areas will have some drains like the ones that we have at uh, uh, Alajo, Alajo, so that uh, our people can have some relief anytime it rains or anytime the dam is. The Wajia Bawe Municipal Assembly and some residents within the Makati South area are dredging the gutter in the community. Community members are also advocating for a storm drain. Calvis, Tete, City News. Way Jack by way.